So let's talk about Trump's trade war. We've got a lot going on here. Now, the thing is, and it's kind of complex because Trump likes to create complexity because it's hard to track what's going on. So we try to get to the core of what's happening so that we understand it better. The TPP, the Trans-Pacific uh, Trade Partnership deal that was written during the Obama administration, Trump said was a horrible deal. It's a terrible deal. We're not going to do it. We're going to be number one. Yay. Okay. Yeah. Go, Donald. Here's the thing. What Trump has done is, first of all, ignored a deal that he said was terrible, and he never even read it because it was confidential, so he couldn't have read it, actually. By the time he was talking about it, he wouldn't have read it. And also, we know he doesn't read. He doesn't read intelligence reports. Why would he read a 1,000-plus page TPP deal report? He wouldn't. He doesn't read. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows you have to show him pretty little pictures or he doesn't understand anything. Even with the little pictures, he gets it wrong. So it's kind of a joke that uh, he continues this f trade fight with China that we could have actually dealt with through dealing through a trade partnership deal with our allies. Now he's isolated all our allies, shoved them out to the sides, saying, we don't really like you anymore because I, Donald Trump, like dictators and I'm going to hang out with them. They're my friends. You're not. And he's really kind of dumping on, on democracy itself when he does this because it's the Western countries, those considered democratically controlled or at least reasonably democratically controlled, those are the ones that are our allies. But now he's saying, I like the dictators. I like Putin. I like Duterte. I like Orban. I like you know, uh, anybody that's for fascism, essentially. Um, and Bol Bolsonaro down in South America. All these guys are basically dictators. They're right-wing extremists. And right-wing extremists, that's, that's not as nice as you might think if you consider yourself right-wing. I don't consider the right-wing conservative. It has nothing to do with conservative. The right-wing more in this sense, we're talking about people who are nationalists. And Trump's trying to say nationalist is a good thing. That's not actually true either. Nationalist infers fascism. Fascism infers folks like Stalin, Hitler, Mussolini, people that basically will kill everybody that disagrees with them just so they can stay in power and make lots of money. So no, that's not a good idea and let's not go there. So let's get back to the trade war. With China, the biggest issue is we had a deal that was in development. And I don't even know how good that deal was because I didn't read it. But I'm sure it was better than whatever Trump's doing because he's got us in this spiral going downwards and China knows it. So here's what's interesting about that. China knows they can outlast us. Now, of course, we hear rhetoric saying, oh, China, you can't afford to outlast them. Donald Trump, he might get elected again. China thinks long term. They're going to think, you know, you look at their history, they look hundreds of years at a time. They don't look at just the next couple of years. So they can certainly outlast, outlast us in the trade war until America just essentially collapses. So for any propaganda to come out and say they can't outlast us, that's kind of silly, actually. China's very good at outlasting countries around it by being extraordinarily patient. So that's what's really going on with the trade war. And Trump's kind of doing this trade war thing because he knows that if he continues, it's going to make his base happy. Well, is that really what we need? Is that what America needs? America's farmers are extremely upset with Donald right now because they're losing money and they're losing their farms because now they have to extend more and more loans to try and stay alive to keep their farms alive just because of Trump's trade war. And Trump's trade war is all about his blustering ego. It's not about good economic sense. The TPP probably had more sense in it, I would bet, any day than what Donald Trump is doing. And that doesn't mean I fully agree with anything and everything that's in the TPP. What it does say is that most likely it at least had more of a semblance of balance to uh, put trade pressures on to rebalance the trade deals and the trade deficits. Donald just keeps shooting from the hip and he says that his instincts are good. Clearly they're not. He's bankrupted every corporation he's ever started. Uh, he even had his foundation shut down for illegal activity. He can't do much right and he can't, he, 
it's kind of funny because he says he's a law and order president. He's not. He's constantly busting the law. He's constantly committing fraud. He's been, like I said, thousands of, he's had thousands of lawsuits. He's lost hundreds of lawsuits. He wins a lot too because, like I said, he's slippery. So, it's exhausting, isn't it?